Hello everyone. Um, I just got home from work, so um, yeah, a mess. But I wanted to do this video real quick because Vi got his wig. Um, it's from Spite and Malice. Let me take off his hat. Um, <clears throat> it's very poofy, <laughs> but I kind of love it. And I know that this actually is not how his hair is supposed to be. It's supposed to be very neat and. <clears throat> He's actually a fae, so it's supposed to be very neat and everything, but it's so cute. <laughs> and it's very soft, and I'll probably just keep playing with it, because I almost want to keep it for him. Um, but it just depends if the person who created um, his character wants me to keep it for him. But I, I kind of love it. <laughs> um, so yeah, here's him without the hat, and I keep smoothing at it just to see. And this is his um, sweater that I bought him. I got it off Etsy. Um, and uh, it was on a quick sell. It was only like five bucks and free shipping. So I went for it because I thought he'd be really cute in it. And he is. And um, plus it goes with the hat, which I'm going to put back on him um, because I want to. <laughs> um I love this hat. It's actually, I think, yeah, I said it before, but it's a, it's a Blythe hat. Um, Blythe's though, um, well, their heads can vary in size, apparently. Um, they can get up to, let's see, like say his head is actually an eight, nine, like an actual eight, nine, which is awesome because rice, um, or, you know, those on wing two here. He says um, on the site that their site, um, head size is eight nine, but actually, actually, it's it's nine ten because it's it's bigger than his head, definitely. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but anyway, um, Blythe heads though, if you were to put it in a size, can range from um, not the nine ten size to like. 10 to 13 if that you know if you could think of that as a size um but i figured with a wig on that this hat would work out very well and it actually does um especially since this wig is so full so it's staying on his head very well now instead of falling off every two seconds which you know was driving me nuts um let's see so he has his sweater now and he has his hat and he has his hair these shorts I actually um, bought off someone on DOA. They're Victorian shorts for SD13 size, and they actually fit him very well. They're a little, um, a little big, just a smidge, not enough to bother me at all. But um, from what I could tell, from when I looked it up. Um, boy and girl dolls, um, on the old body that is, are very similar to SD13, the regular SD13 size, not the long leg version. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, again, the shorts was just a guess, but it worked out very well. Um, but as you can see, I, I just, he's so precious. I love him. Like, I love his face. I love, I actually, um, in falling in love with just his size, um, I kind of love it. Um, <laughs> no offense to Rye, who I love and whose height um, was necessary. Like, I had to get him 72 centimeter body because having him and Vi be the same height would have just been disturbing. I could have taken him, um, Rye down to an SD and then taken buy down to an MSD, but I didn't want to do that either because it just didn't seem right. Um, but uh, I have to admit, I'm in love with the size. I love the fact that I can just like, woo, and he, he he's kind of heavy, but you know, not too much. And he's not like, since there's not like an overabundance anywhere, he's not really floppy, just naturally. Like, um, I have a feeling if I hot blue suede um, rye, 
that he'd be less floppy and whatnot, but it's also because he has so many joints, I think. Um, <clears throat> he is double jointed and his legs are heavy and just constantly, you know, fall down and his arms uh, are very hard to pose and blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, it's just because of how his body is. Um, it's not, and it's not anything I would fix because I love how he poses. Um, and I actually don't mind carrying around, carrying him around, but I have to admit that I love him so much. <laughs> I feel so bad too because like, I don't know, he's just easy to carry. And um, also, I think this has to do with the fact that he's double jointed. He's just easy just to deal with. Um, um, he's not very... He doesn't flop around. He doesn't, um, I can hold him very well. In fact, I held him a lot, um, Saturday. Um, and I don't know, he's just easy to, easy to deal with. But of course his character, um, he's actually very like, um, indicative. What's the, what's the word? Um, it represents his character very well because that's how his character is. His character is very, snuggable and lovable and so I pretty much had no choice in the matter so yeah <laughs> um the only thing with him besides the wig situation which I have to see if she likes this if not I mean I'll, I'll keep searching and um this sweater is only pretty much temporary um it's supposed to look like he borrowed it off Rye um even though it was made to look this way. In fact, I've seen two other, it cracked me up because just yesterday I saw two other dolls wearing this sweater. Um, it's not like I thought this was one of a kind. It's just funny because I'd never seen it before until like I did a random Etsy search. And then yesterday I saw it twice um, on dolls on, in the gallery. <laughs> so I had to laugh at that. Um, but um, it's just a temporary thing because he wears... Um, like Chinese shirts and usually in green um, because they go it goes with his eyes very well um, so I have to try and find that I'll probably have to have it commissioned unfortunately um, so it's going to take a while to get that together so I wanted to make sure he had something and something of his own I didn't want him to have to share rye stuff um, or even Elia's stuff um, which I was considering at one point I don't want him to share anybody else's stuff. I want him to have his own stuff. Like the hat, I want him to have his own hat. Even though I do have the bear hat, which I'm probably going to give to him. I um, I got that for Rye though, and it felt weird. Just like it's like hand-me-downs. I didn't want to do that if I if I could avoid it. Um, so yeah, I mean, he came together pretty well in my opinion, and I love him. Oh God. I loved him before he got his stuff together, though, but now I love him more, and I just love him. <laughs> so, um, I'm not going to change his face up. Um, is it Texter who asked? Yes. Um, I'm not going to change his face up. I'm actually very used to it now, um, and I understand why they did it that way, um, because he is tan, so I guess they didn't want to go with the peaches. Um. If ever, though, I get good at face-ups, which may or may not happen, um, and I look at it and it starts to bother me, maybe I'll redo it, but I kind of love it. Really, I do. So I think I'm just going to keep it. Um, the only thing that bothers me is that um, boy and girl doll um, do not include eyelashes on their doll. So he does not have eyelashes. Um, at first, this wasn't going to be a problem. I kind of was getting used to it, but I wanted to have eyelashes. Like, Rye has eyelashes, and Rye is less girly than he is, so it just seems weird that he doesn't have eyelashes. So, I had bought some. I, I showed in the opening, I had bought some to come with him. Um, but applying them looks easier said than done. Um, <laughs> I did find a good, uh, good YouTube tutorial on how to apply eyelashes so I'm going to give it a try um, I'm going to use you know the product they use and hopefully cross my fingers it works out if not I mean 
Hopefully, at the very least, I just waste eyelashes and I don't ruin his face up. I'm going to be very extraordinarily careful. And if at the last minute I just feel I can't do it, um, then I won't. <laughs> um, and the eyelashes weren't very much. And to be honest, the glue won't be very much either. So going ahead and trying at the very least, might as well. Um, so that is it for him. He has come together very nicely. Oh, and I might still get the glass eyes from Mint on Card for him. If only because I love glass eyes. Like, I'm, like, fantastically in love with him. Um, but we shall see. I actually love these eyes a lot, and they were actually um, expensive for me anyway. Like, rise eyes were, like, 10 bucks. So, in comparison, these were expensive. Um, so, uh, I don't know. We'll see on that. Um, in other news, if I, um, just slight one, um, either next, this paycheck coming up, if I can swing it, or the one after, I'm going to look on the marketplace for a practice head for face-ups. Um, I'm not, sh I'm not looking for a particular head, but I'm hoping to come across a sculpt that I actually like, just in case I do something with it that ends up being, um, passable for someone. So I'm looking, um, I've found some that are like 50 bucks and 75 bucks. So I'm hoping to be able to swing one next paycheck. Cross my fingers. Uh, I'm not sure if I will. If not, it'll be the paycheck after. Um, cause I want to start preparing for doing face ups. Um, because I have the one girl coming blank. Um, the, the doll of Alice poss possibly or uh, Bobby Elaine. I still haven't decided on that. Um, regardless, I'll have to redo the face up because it has to look like in my head. <laughs> and in her, in my head, her makeup's really dramatic and um, I need to be able to do that. And then on top of that, I have a tiny that's coming um, without a face up. But um, I don't want to practice on something that's small quite yet. I want to save that for later. <laughs> um, I want to, so yeah, I want to get a practice head um, for when I learn to do that. And um, what else? Um, nothing much else. Um, I guess Space Ups is my next project because um, I am at this point more interested in that and it's easier to not easier to do excuse me it's not um <laughs> it's easier to get the supplies for I should say is it's easier to get a practice head and the supplies for face up than it is to get the appropriate sewing machine because I've yet to find the exact one I'm looking for I keep looking for um checking Craigslist like my friend said um but I've yet to find the one that she recommends, so I'm still looking for that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it on my list. Um, and um, just to say at random, my next doll probably will not be Doll Love Alice because I definitely want to um, definitely practice and practice and practice first before getting her because I don't want to get her and have her sit around blank for like ever. Um, so my next doll actually might be another one of the street kids because um, Ellie has one, the doll of Alice or Bobby Elena. I still, I need to decide on that. Will be one. This new girl that Doll Zone came out with will be one. I can't remember what month she's named after. I can't remember if it's May or June. She's going to be one. And um, I also have Rain Doll Peter that is also a um, street kid. I want to start collecting them because I love them as characters. And their dolls I, I can't help wanting right now. So um, they're next. And the next one that I plan to get once I get Elia home is Rain Doll Peter who will play my character Peter, which I think is funny because like, it's just I, it's funny that the mold name is basically the same exact name, just with the extra T. Um, <laughs> but um, he'll be the next one I purchase, I believe. Um, if that changes, of course, I'll like keep you updated because that's what I do.
I also have to put in a Dalmor order soon for Elia, um, possibly for him too, um, and possibly for Rai also because he still needs black pants or some other kind of pants because my god I'm sick of seeing these white pants. <laughs> but all he has is this in his full set pants and me and his full set pants like have a daily argument like whenever I look at him. So no. <laughs> um, so I might be doing that next month too. March is going to be a very busy, dull month. Um, hopefully, um, it just depends how my paycheck goes because I, I should be getting overtime. That's why I'll be a busy, dull month. It wouldn't be otherwise. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's all for now. Uh, and here he is. I hope you can see him very well. I love him. He, I love him so much. <laughs> so yeah, um, so that's all. Bye.